Okay guys, my name is Vic and I'm going to be doing a review on the Razer Sphex. This mouse pad is fantastic. I've had this particular mouse pad for three months now and so let's get on with the review. Uh, my initial thoughts with this mouse pad were a little bleak. I took it out of the packaging and I slapped it down on the table and I put my mouse on top of the mouse pad and as I moved my mouse, the mouse pad moved along with the mouse. It didn't stick to the table whatsoever. I tried this on uh, this table right here, which is, uh, has a vinyl finish. I tried this on a real wooden table I have, and that didn't stick to it either. The, as in the mouse pad didn't stick to the table either. And I was quite shocked because it said it would stick um, firmly to the table, and it didn't. And what I found out was there was dust along the bottom of the mouse pad and on the table surface itself. So if, you, if this mouse pad needs to be stuck down, it has to be completely dust free, both the mouse pad bottom surface and the table itself. This can be a little worrying for people who are going to land because obviously um, the environment won't be dust free. Um, in order, in how I solved this issue was I got um, some water and I put a bit of water on the back of the mouse pad. I used a spray gun, you could just use the same thing with a wet cloth and just dampen the back of the surface. Um, because this mouse pad uses a, a sort of micro suction system, there's, there's hundreds of tiny little rings um, and they uh, create suction which prevents the mouse pad from moving. Um, and what I did was I used water on the back of the mouse pad and then I stuck it down and as you can see I cannot move it, it is completely stuck to the table. Um, the only way I'm going to remove that is with this little tab that runs along the right side. Um, you can just peel it off like so. Um, so that was my initial thoughts. Um, after setting up and getting this mouse pad going, um, it is fantastic. Uh, value for money, it cost it on the Razor uh, online store. It's 15 US dollars. I bought it in India for a thousand rupees, um, and for 15 dollars, you're getting amazing value for money. You're getting amazing, amazing value for money. Um, there's other mouse pads here that um, that are here that don't even come close. To this mouse pad and uh, double the price of it so the value for money is fantastic it's only fifteen dollars and considering that other more um, mouse pads which have a, which have equivalent performance are uh, more and more uh, expensive than this much more expensive than this you're getting amazing value for money durability I've had this mouse pad for about three three and a half months I think three months and it looks brand new right now it looks as if it just came out of the packaging um, so no problems with durability um, this rough surface hasn't worn out at all. Um, the grips hasn't, the gripping hasn't worn out. The, they have stuck it down. It hasn't really moved at all, um, and it's just fantastic durability as well. Performance, which is what most of us are going to be looking for from a mouse pad, is really, really, really spectacular. Um, I used, I used to have a soft mouse pad before this, and now I'm a completely um, a hardcore hard mat fan. I definitely like the, um, having a mouse pad that is hard, not soft, um, and it seems to go really well with the Razer Death that I have here. Um, Performance-wise, it's definitely added that extra 10% to my game. Um, it just feels really nice to use, um, and definitely because it's uh, this design, which is extremely thin, it's completely flush to the table. It's really part of the table. I really, really, really like the design. Um, it's considering uh, my old mouse pads, which kind of used to interfere with my gaming because it, my hand would kind of hit the mouse pad and move it a little bit. This mouse pad definitely has nothing to do with the problem. Since it's part of the table, it's just a real pleasure to use while gaming, and you don't even have to think about the mouse pad getting in your way or anything like that. Uh, some people, people who like to keep the keyboard and the mouse pad and the mouse all together close, who play like a more of a tight, um, closed gaming setup. They can do that. They can put the keyboard on the mouse pad, and you won't even realize that that the keyboard is on the mouse pad because it's so th um, thin that the, a slight elevation on this side you won't even feel the difference between these two sides on the keyboard. So you can definitely keep it all close together if you like that. For me, um, I like to keep my things a little bit further um, separated, but you wouldn't have to go looking for a mouse pad that has a cut off so that you can keep the keyboard close. You can definitely use this mouse pad itself. Um, it's very thin. It is really. It looks wise. It, it it looks really nice. Actually, you can get different designs. I think there's about six different designs on the Razer website. Um, so performance wise, it, it allows tracking to be really good. Um, it's very accurate. This rough part, this rough texture feeling, is really nice. 
um, and just to have just using the mouse on this mouse pad is really good um, it's definitely improves the tracking of this then rather than using just the table and it's a definitely a performance it's a gaming mouse pad um, so overall performance wise it's fantastic um, my concerns about the mouse pad over the last three months there are two the initial worry of that not gripping the table requiring water so if you are taking it to a land I would recommend getting a water bottle or just something like a small little spray out which can spray a little bit of the water on the back which will then make it stick completely um, and this razor logo here this razor green part here and the actual razor logo here is a different texture it's a different feel it's a different surface than this black and this white this white and the black they're the same however if you put your uh, mouse over this green part here and the green part here it is different um, however you won't it won't in real world use it won't affect your gameplay if you run over the green part however you can tell that you you can tell you can, that you've gone over the green part because it's painted on top of them um, on top of this mouse pad um, but it does definitely stand out it's a fluoro green so it does make it a little bit more attractive in real world use you won't even be hit going anywhere near down to this corner or all the way up to that corner maybe this corner but I have when you're inside a game it won't when you're playing a game sorry it won't affect you the size of the mouse pad this def mouse pad is definitely big enough for my kind of play I'm a medium sensitivity player I'm not a low sensitivity player who requires large mouse pads and do sweeping hand movements it'll definitely be um, the size will be definitely be um, large enough for 95 percent of us gamers um, and I can say that you're not going to be having a problem with the size of the mouse pad. And even if you do run off the uh, mouse pad, there's no problem because you won't even really recognize you're off the mouse pad. So you can easily go back on. You won't have to actually lift your mouse and put it back on as there are with other large, thicker mouse pads. Um, Portability wise, you can easily take this to a LAN. You can't roll it up because it is hard plastic, but you can just sl slip it into your ba um, uh, bag quite easily. And definitely, so I definitely recommend this mouse pad to anyone looking for a good value for money gaming mouse pad that is very portable because it is so thin. I consider it portable. You cannot roll it up, however, though. So, overall, I'd give this a nine and a half out of ten individually. My in uh, value for money, I'd give it a 12 out of 10. Durability, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. Por uh, portability, I'd give it about uh, eight out of 10. And because you can't roll it up, and some people like to roll it up and stick it in the side pocket of the bag. But you know what? You can just slip this behind your keyboard when you put it in your bag. Um, performance, I give this a 9 out of 10. So overall, I give it a 9.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching my review. If you like it, and subscribe. There will be further reviews on other Razer products, such as the Razer Death Out of here and the keyboard. So I look forward to that, and thanks for watching, guys. See ya.